Hello, this video is to help you get started with your 5600 veterinary ultrasound machine. When you first receive it, you're going to want to plug in the probe. On the back of your machine, you will see there is a diagram telling you which way to put it. You can use either ports A or B, it doesn't matter. So pick up the connector of your probe, orientate it the same way as the diagram, and push it right into the port, then twist to secure. Your screen tilts. You also have a light you can press if you're scanning in a dark room, it'll illuminate the keyboard for you. To power on your machine, press and hold the on button. Not a single press, it'll do nothing. Press and hold. Once your machine has powered on, there's one thing you may want to do before we get started. Press the setup key and use your tracker ball to move over to the word normal. Press set and this is where you can input your business name. You can also uncheck the key sound box and that will turn off the annoying beeping sound that you will notice follows you everywhere you go. When you're finished, press OK and you're now ready to start scanning. The main controls you're going to need to understand are gain, depth and frequency. These are taught extensively on our courses, but if you just want to get started quickly, let me show you where they are. Gain is here. You can turn that up to amplify the returning signal, gives you a brighter image on screen, or turn it down to make it darker. Your depth is here where it says function. You can reduce that to see something in greater detail or you can increase your depth to get a wider field of view and see more in your image at once. Your frequency button is on the right hand side of the keyboard here. If you press that it will cycle through your various frequency options. You'll want low frequencies for larger animals and you tend to be able to use higher frequencies for smaller, more echogenic patients. Once you have an image you like, you may want to perform measurements, so you'll press freeze, the snowflake button. And if you're performing standard abdominal measurements, it's the measure button that will give you access to things like distance, trace, ellipse. If you are performing gestational age calculations for pregnancy, you'll press the OB button. When you press that, you'll see a range of species come down the side. Let's use canine as example, so I'm going to go over canine, press set, and then you need to choose the correct package for the stage of pregnancy. So early pregnancy would be GS, gestational sac, CRL, crown rump length for a little bit later, and HD, head diameter, or same as biparietal diameter, once you see that skull. With your image frozen, you can also save stills by pressing the I save button. And you can access those later by going to review. It will have saved on the hard disk all of the images that you've pressed save on when the image is frozen. So you can power off the machine, you can go home and you can get the images off later. This is where they'll all be stored and you can insert a USB stick and export those images if you want to look at them on your PC. Remember this ultrasound machine does not say video clips. A lot of people will film using their mobile phones, but if you want a machine that will store actual cine loops of your ultrasound scans, then you're going to need to be going for something more like a Scan X.